measure the heat of chilies? Well, um, the original way to measure the heat was invented by Wilbur Scoville, good old Wilbur, in 1912. He worked for the Park Davis Pharmaceutical Company, and they had a salve called Heat, H-E-E-T. And they were having all kinds of problems with it because sometimes that salve would be so hot that people couldn't use it. Other times, people would put it on and nothing was happening. So he had to know a way to find out at least an approximate heat of the chilies. And so he invented the Scoville organoleptic test which was, for 1912, about as scientific as it got. And that was a panel of tasters. And he kept diluting um, uh, a, a mixture of chili peppers, wa water, and a little bit of sugar that people were tasting. And he kept diluting it with water and keep measuring all these things until they could no longer taste the heat. And the dilution factor was what became the Scoville heat unit. So if they had to dilute it 500 times, then 500 was the Scoville heat level of that particular chili. And so you can imagine the agony that some of these people went through, especially with the hotter ones, you know, to try to get, they had to keep tasting it until they couldn't taste it anymore. And um, that was around, oh my gosh, 60, 70 years, it was the only way we had. And then along came liquid chromatography with an actual chromatograph where you could take a sample, you could analyze it through a, a color spectrum and find out exactly the amount of capsaicin in parts per million, and then that was converted to Scoville heat units. And that's the way it's done now at New Mexico State University and most laboratories around the world are using this particular test, which is far more accurate. But you have to do the right kind of sample. And the way you're supposed to properly sample this is you don't find the hottest chili and cut out the hottest parts of it and then test it. It has to be the whole chili. And right. you have to pick these chilies randomly from the same batch that you're growing. So if you have orange habaneros, say, you have to pick one from this plant, one from this plant, one from this plant, one from this plant, that it's all mixed up and then dried and put into the machine and tested. And then you get an overall heat level.